This is not Donald Trump's typical red hat MAGA crowd. The Libertarian Party should nominate Trump for President of the United States. Whoa. You're not a Libertarian! If you want to lose, don't do that. Keep getting you 3% every four years. Now I think you should nominate me or at least vote for me, and we should win together. The Libertarian National Convention invited the Republican presidential candidate to speak to increase the visibility of the event. There's broadly speaking, I think, two groups of people here. Okay? No, but I'm serious. There are, okay, there are members of the Libertarian Party, and, and there are people who came here to support Donald Trump. But many here consider the man who is notably not the Libertarian Party's candidate an unwelcome interloper, and they're not shy about saying so. I'd like to propose that we go tell Donald Trump to go himself. Here, here! Yes! Yeah. 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 Standing ovation. We are a Libertarian convention looking to nominate Libertarians! The Libertarian Party is small but influential, often taking votes that would otherwise have gone to conservative Republican opponents. The Libertarian vote total has been impactful, at least in swing states, all around the country. The Republicans know it, the Democrats know it, the Independents know it. So it's not surprising that RFK and Trump would try to come in and get our votes, but we have always had the self-respect to not give in to that. Adding insult to injury in the eyes of many libertarians, the Trump speech came a day after another non-libertarian presidential candidate, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., took the stage, although Trump was clearly the main event. You can hear boos and cheers at the same time. Within this crowd, you can see several of those red MAGA hats that Trump fans wear, but most of those people came just for this event. They didn't come for the Libertarian Convention. And within the convention, Trump's presence has been divisive, and it shows. One attendee was dragged out as Trump tried to appease the crowd. I will put a Libertarian in my cabinet and also Libertarians in senior posts. We just had a neocon war criminal on our stage a few minutes ago. Even among the right-leaning Libertarians, the twice-impeached president facing four criminal trials has proved as controversial a presence as he has long been across the U.S. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Washington. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.